hello guys and welcome to my channel again this is karen thank you so much for clicking into the video thank you for always returning to watch my videos thank you to my new subscribers i really love you guys so uh i did a video uh, yesterday not yesterday the other day the day before yesterday i did a video and uh it didn't go it didn't go the way people expected they expected me to to you know to criticize dimwango and all that you know because uh, they feel like Dimwango was coming after his brother, you know, and she didn't like the the party. Okay, for me, I support uh, I support family. Okay, at the end of the day, these two people are brother and sister, and they actually have to solve their issues and get back together in their feet. Let them work their things together. Let them. Uh, solve the issues and they will still uh, be brother and sister that's what I support most you know even if one of them was on the wrong I still uh, advocate for uh, blood you know blood is always stronger that was it for those who are disappointed I'm sorry for that okay so uh, today I want to talk about uh, Marwa's girlfriend Ro Rocio, uh, Rocio what, Cabrera, something like that. Okay, Ro, Ro had an interview with her, uh, had a talk. It's actually not an interview. It was uh, a talk between Ro and Marwa and uh, the mother. Okay, I'm coming. Okay, in the conversation, they were actually talking about, uh, they were talking about polygamy. Especially because uh, Marwa, we all know Marwa always says that he wants uh, about three wives, you know. He wants more than one, so he's polygamous. That's so obvious, you know. So they were discussing about polygamy. And I saw people telling uh, this lady, Marwa's girlfriend, to run because the mother, uh, Marwa's mother, is also supporting the son. You know, is supporting Marwa. She's supporting Marwa. And you know, uh, according to Africans, polygamy is nothing. You know, it's just something common and all that. But uh, so these days, uh, it's not that much. You know, it's not. It's not rampant the way it was in the past. So, the mother is supporting the son. But the, uh, the girlfriend is against uh, polygamy. She actually says that uh, in their homeland, polygamy is not uh, a thing that is being, you know, is being supported or something like that. The government, is, the, the laws are also against the polygamy. So she's, she's actually showing that she's not interested in anything to do with the polygamy. Okay, one thing I would uh, ask this girl is that she, she, she knew uh, from the start that Marwa always wants more than one wife. Whenever you, uh, whenever you decide to be Marwa's girlfriend, always know that you are going through that path with with him. She is going to take a, another wife. You are not going to be the only one. And that is Marwa. So whenever you accept to be his uh, first girlfriend, you should always have in mind that he wants more than one wife. And that is Marwa, you know. But here, I can't just, uh, you know, you can't force things on people. Okay, if she's not uh, in support of that, it's a choice. Let her be. No one will force her to be, to be in that uh, polygamous family, you know. So I saw people telling her to run, run, run. Why? Why are you telling her to run, you know? Marwa hasn't taken another wife yet. We don't know. Maybe it might change in the future. He might say it was just, uh, you know, it was just in, during that period. It was something something he wanted uh, in the past. Maybe it might change. 
So let Ro stay and decide for herself. You no, know, these are people, these are negative people who are actually uh, telling this girl to leave Marwa, you know. It's not good. Let her decide where she wants to be, who she wants to be with, and all that, you know. So, uh, let's get to another uh, chat. There is uh, this story about Ro. Ro did a video. She was actually vlogging in the house and she went to the kitchen and the kitchen was so messy and uh, you know, it was actually uh, I don't know it, what time was it. The kitchen was so messy and Ro decided to do a video there showing people how the kitchen is and in the video, she happened to interview uh, this girl, Elizabeth, the girl who left her job in Saudi to come and be a YouTuber and and, uh, and cook for, for Marwa. She has been there for some time, but she didn't start uh, with the African village cook the cooking. She joined later and she has been there. She has been helping uh, with the cooking and everything. So... Uh, Elizabeth was was there when uh, Ro was doing uh, the the vlog was vlogging in the kitchen, and she was like, you know, the, if you do uh, if you cook, if you use the kitchen, you have to clean after yourself, you know. And these are uh, and and she was actually referring to the one and only cook in the villa, that is African village cook. Was African village cook wrong uh, leaving the kitchen the, the way it was? And Ro claims that the kitchen was left for quite some days, you know, like three days without being cleaned. Yet, African village cook says the kitchen was just left the day, the last day of the, of the party because she was so tired and all that, you know. It's not easy. It's not easy... Uh, it's not easy cooking for all those people and then you do uh, cleaning afterwards. Especially the VVIP, you know. There are different meals. There are people who choose uh, to eat uh, different foods and you have to make them yourself. So she was getting help but very little help. That's what she says. African village cook was getting some help but it was very little because... It was a job. She volunteered in the in the first place. When the party began, we also African village cook. She was so ready for the party. She was so ready to cook for uh, Marwa all through the party. So, uh, African village cook explained aside. She said that uh, in the villa, there are always cleaners. There are always uh, people who are being paid to clean the whole house, the whole room. And that is it. That is a... Uh, that, that day when the party ended, African village cook was so tired. She said that she was so tired. Even when she was doing the video, we all saw the video. She was... Her eyes were so red. She was so exhausted. Imagine cooking every single day like three meals a day, let's say even for uh, 15 people, three meals a day. It's not easy. It's not an easy thing. One person every day cooking, especially Ugali, it's so tiresome. She wasn't getting enough help. And then there is no reason to blame this girl. She's so hard working. She has been struggling. She has been complaining that uh, her back ex because of this job. So, the person we need to, 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 to blame is, uh, is uh, the people who are supposed to clean the whole uh, villa. Why didn't they uh, clean the kitchen? Yet they are being paid. Somebody was supposed to follow up the old story. Somebody was supposed to look up 
if when whether the 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 kitchen is clean whether ev every other room is clean one thing for sure i know is that uh, ro was supposed to be more responsible she was supposed to take uh, the job after the party she was supposed to know who is supposed to clean this and who is supposed to do this after the party ends because the volunteers were just for the a uh, 30 day period which was the party and then after that you are supposed to sort yourselves out the house is uh is yours it belongs to the, the to Marwa and the, the girlfriend so the girlfriend was the one who supposed to look up to uh, the the responsibilities every other uh, job that supposed to be done in the villa and the volunteers were doing it they were supposed to look for the the people to to clean the people to look over the, the responsibilities that were being uh, done by those volunteers you know after the party the volunteers job was done so no one should be blaming this uh, african village cook she has done a lot she has really volunteered all heartedly we also are uh, sometimes she would go for shopping she would come back start cooking you know doing a lot of things plus the the kitchen condition is not that uh that uh you know up to standard so you have to struggle with some things some things you have to put them on the floor and all that there are no shelves you have to put them there on the floor or the boxes and th and things like that so she did the very best of herself she struggled she did a job very well you know she's one of the people i can actually say she she worked very hard in that village in that villa she worked extra hard because she was using a lot of energy she volunteered all heartedly she actually if there's someone who needs to uh receive some gifts and all that you know appreciation let's say appreciation it's village cook cooking for those people all those people it's not easy we should appreciate them let's not be uh, ungrateful let's be grateful for the little things people offering to do uh, jobs just for free let's not come for them and blame them for the little things that happened let's focus on the good things for the all 30 days party she did very great job and we should appreciate her appreciate her in whatever way you can and that is it so guys uh, thank you for watching my video up to this point kindly subscribe if you have not subscribed see you in my next video bye bye